We're here for the Young Apprentice Weekend 2013. What is that? It's when Northumberland schools get together and we've got to make like a cereal bar and like talk about it and make adverts and TV adverts and this Emma's doing like the creative bit when just sticking all the boxes together and then I'm doing a PowerPoint and Christy's writing it all up. In the youth service we sit within employability and skills department um, and the young apprentice what we've been doing this weekend is is part of a whole package that we put together in the youth service. We, we, our youth workers have certain specialisms and one of the specialisms we have is around employability and, uh, and so Sharon and the team from the South East have put together this package of um, activities for young people to take part in, one of which is the Young Apprentice. We are kind of creating a snack bar, so it could be anything wanted and this I'm a celebrity challenge throwing, which is good. Um, but we're just designing the wrapper for the chocolate bar and advert a radio the actual bar. Yeah, the bar, making the bar. We're here for the Young Apprentice weekend with at Longhurst with the youth service doing the um like a cereal thing. It's like a nutrients bar kind of product to sell like a young apprentice, like a um, sorcerer's apprentice sort of thing. They go through the process like just like uh, people do on The Apprentice on television or The Young Apprentice. They have to design uh, a breakfast bar, um, they have to package it, they have to market it, they have to look at their customer base, pricing, profit margins, all that sort of stuff. They have to develop a, a radio jingle for it and a, and a television advert. And they go through the whole process of then putting together a pitch with all those elements involved in the pitch. And the pictures we've seen today have been phenomenal. They've been absolutely outstanding. The amount of effort the young people's put in has just been, it's just been incredible. And they're, they're, they're a real credit to themselves. They're a real credit to Northumberland. We had a challenge first, which was an I'm a Celebrity one, of we had a bowl of jelly beans and chopsticks and another bowl. So we had to get the chopsticks get them with the jelly beans and move them into the bowl and the first team got to choose their first ingredient and we had to like think on the spot like what we're going to make so we picked strawberries we picked them yeah. there so we thought that that would be a good all around thing to have a, a um, snack bar. The whole thing is, is a, a, a package for young people to develop some um, a, a different set of skills than, than maybe they're developing in, in education or in other areas of their life because as a young person at the moment, I think it must be really difficult. The, the way the economy is going and the, the youth unemployment is sky high and there aren't many prospects out there for young people, so they need something that's going to help them stand out in the crowd. They need something that's going to make them the person for the job or for the training opportunity. Or they need some skills to go, well, you know what, if I can't do A, B and C, well, maybe I can do something different, maybe I can do something else. So what we're trying to do is, is, is harness them skills and enable young people to realise that they've got them skills and, um, and just, just give them that opportunity to, to have a bit of hope about their future, to have a bit of, you know, to, to, to have a bit of positivity about their future. I think teamwork is yeah. one of the big things. Teamwork yeah. definitely we're going to take away. Business yeah. skills. We're learning about like teamwork and like meeting new people and getting to know better. We're learning how to like the English language properly because we've got to make a, pro a PowerPoint and describe it. So that helps with English skills. I wish you wanted course it is because you can get confidence and get in and meet new people. Yeah, learning a bit more of experience and how to communicate. communication and teamwork skills and it's going to be a lot better for when you get older and you start learning how to be working in teams and um, working with a lot of different people that you don't know and having to get along with them and compete but be friends with them as well at the same time. We've had young people who, who wouldn't even say their name at the beginning of the weekend who've just stood up in front of nearly 30 people and done a, and done a presentation about what they've learned. We've had, we've had uh, comments like, I've done more work this morning than I've done in school all year. We've, we've had young people just really put a lot of effort in and 
according to what they've been telling us and, and what they've been showing in their evaluations, they've, they've got a lot out of it as well. It's not your, it's not your bog standard um, bit of youth work, it's not your bog standard intervention with young people, it's innovative, um, it's, it's things that it, we've never done before so we feel like we're, we're breaking new ground each time we try it and, we, and each time we do it, we do it differently, we learn from it, we make it better and better and we try and give the young people more and more of an experience. The activity is as good, as innovative and as, as new as it is, it's not important. What's important is that we have youth workers here who can bring that learning out with the young people and make it, make it relevant to their lives, not make it relevant to where they've spent the last three days, make it relevant to where they live back in Blythe, where, where they go to school back in their, their own environment, where they're back at home with, with their life the way, the way their life is.